Hi, it's Tuft Cabbage Adventures and today we are visiting the Hungarian National Parliament. We'll show you guys some of the things inside that we can actually record footage of and afterwards we will tell you some very important information if you still feel that you want to visit this wonderful looking building. So come with us because it starts to rain. Let's go! Located in the 5th district, the parliament is easily accessible from major transportation hubs. And although it's commonly called as the parliament, the actual term used in Hungarian is Orszakház, or House of the Nation. Planned by Imre Steindl, the building is considered neo-gothic and eclectic in design, and you can see inspiration from architecture in Vienna, a sign of Steindl's time in Austria. His mentor built the famous Stephansdom, and bits and pieces here clearly show that relationship. The parliament was still under construction, but already used by politicians in 1896, which marked the 1000th year of Hungarians settling in the Carpathian Basin. The height is 96 meters because of this anniversary, and no other building in Pest is allowed to be higher than that. The only other building with the same height is the St. Stephen's Basilica. And now let's check out the insides. You'll find the entrance to the visitor center at the northern end. The building is symmetrical inside, consisting of an upper and a lower house area. During your visit, you get to see the upper house room, its lounge area, the main entrance stairs, and the central area with the national crown. By the way, the carpet in the lounge of the lower house is red, while the one for the upper house is blue, because that's where the nobility were, and it was believed their blood was blue. The parliament is the largest building in Hungary, and also one of the largest governmental buildings in the world. There are many other interesting facts and stories explained throughout the tour, so it's worth paying attention to your tour guide. Before exiting, you are left to freely view artifacts from the past and learn more about the building's history. And like with most museums and exhibitions, your tour ends in the souvenir shop, where you can buy some Hungarian themed goods. So that was our tour here in the Parliament building. Now, for me, it was a very nice experience because I love history and there's a ton of history inside. You get a lot of details throughout the tour. And then there's the architecture and I love architecture. So if you love these two things, history and architecture, I guess you'll have a pretty good time if you come here. Now, if you still want to visit the place, I have some very important information for you. First, purchase the ticket from the official website. I will leave the link somewhere in the description below, but it's jegmesterpo There are many different websites who also provide tickets, but some of them might be scams. So make sure you get your ticket from the official website. Second, if you are coming from within the European Union and you have a residence permit here in the EU, the ticket price is roughly 10 euros or something like that. But if you come from outside of the European Union, you may need to pay 20 euros. So make sure you have your residence permit papers or whatsoever so you can prove you know you get the uh, cheaper version of the ticket. Third, the whole trip takes about 50 minutes. So right now it's not raining that much, but for us it was actually a blessing to be inside because then the weather was extremely bad. If you're out here and it starts to rain, you can actually go inside. You can purchase the tickets on the spot, but I would still recommend to purchase them online up front. Number four, there are separate schedules for separate languages. So if you're an English speaker or German or whatever speaker, there are separate tours starting at separate times. So make sure you check the official website when your language is going. Technically, if you're not a speaker of, let's say, Italian, you could purchase a ticket for that, but you will not get the details about the history. And I do have to say, it gives a lot of plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and luckily the sun is coming out. So that means we can go and grab some coffee. And I believe we have six letters nearby and there's actually a ton of other things that 
you can actually check out in the area. So maybe check out our video that is actually focusing on this area itself and then support this channel by liking it. And if you also enjoy everything else, then maybe consider subscribing. And now a tram is coming, it's gonna get loud. Let's go running, bye bye.